Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo is one part of the country that has endured protracted conflicts orchestrated by various rebel groups which include the Allied Democratic Forces, ADF, the M23 which came into existence in 2012 after some soldiers broke away from the DRC government. These are mainly of Tutsi origin. Alliance of Patriots for a Free and Sovereign Congo, the Armed Forces of Congolese People, Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda, FDLR, said to have been founded by the perpetrators of the 1994 genocide, the Mai Mai, who are reportedly dominated by the Nidin ethnic community. There is also the Raimutomboki Outraged Citizens, which was established in 2005 in South Kivu's Shabunda territory, said to be the largest, the local defense forces Busumba, LDF, which was established in 2005 by over 50 Hutu men, according to enough project. The Front for Patriotic Resistance in Ituri, a gold-rich region. Experts say they survive mainly on looting and smuggling among other sources of funding. Dr. Ashad Sentongo explains why there are many rebel groups in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, which is vastly forested with hilly terrain. The space is rich with minerals. And therefore, that makes it a preference for anybody. Number two is that the region is so ethnically interconnected to make the transnational organization and mobilization of disgruntled groups very favorable. The expert in conflicts and international relations argues that greed is a huge problem. The greedy people are the leaders that lead the insurgent groups, the Nkundas of that time and everybody else that is in there. It's not necessarily out of grievance, genuine grievances, but it is more about greed, the desire wanting to harm to power also and control resources. Also the history of the 12 member states in the Great Lakes region characterized by conflict after conflict, has a bearing on the state of affairs in the region. That resources have been diverted to fighting and therefore no development can sustainably take place. And as you pick up, then a war breaks out and uh, you lose that momentum. But also number two, and that is the most dangerous, the internalization of the theory, of the thinking, that when conditions are unfavorable, we fight. Other scholars shared their views on why the region is home to numerous armed groups. Is the fact that uh, the government in Kinshasa is very far from Eastern Congo. And the, the governments in Congo, right off from Zaire, when it was in Zaire, they have been weak. Uh, and uh, if a government cannot control its territorial integrity, then other groups can come and take it. Even Uganda, if we didn't have enough, I mean, a strong government that can control the entire territory of Uganda, anybody can come and take advantage. With heightened insecurity in the region, the scholars have questioned the purpose of MONUSCO forces in the region, where thousands of people have been killed by the rebels, scores of women raped without holding anyone accountable. In 2017, rebels killed 15 peacekeepers in Congo, some were Tanzanians. <laughs> <laughs> MONUSCO is mandated to provide support to the Congolese army forces to carry out targeted offensive operations through the Force Intervention Brigade. However, the mission does not have the mandate to support the Ugandan Armed Forces, UPDF, or other armed forces. For this reason, when the DRC government was discussing joint military operations with neighboring countries in 2019, there was confusion as to what this meant for MONUSCO. So what's the way forward? We need to win the mind, mind uh, to win the minds of those people who are fighting. Uh, and after all, these are Ugandans uh, who either have been misled uh, or have been radicalized. Uh, I would suggest that the government can also use uh, other means of negotiations and to change the mind of these young people who have been misled. One is that the role of the state is central. So. I think states in the region need to realize and come to recognition okay, that that is a common problem affecting the region and deal with it. Number two, there is always a communal content in protracted conflicts that tend to go on in cycles and cycles. 
In a statement on Twitter, MONUSCO asks, Does the entry of Ugandan forces into DRC legally change anything for MONUSCO? It adds that, Is it true that there are going to be operational consequences that we have to take into account in what we can do? Our mandate authorizes us to support Congolese army in its operations. Our mandate does not allow us to support a regional coalition. The people behind the formation of the Forum of Parliaments of International Conference on Great Lakes Region made this kind of body so that it can sort out problems like those of the protracted conflicts within the eastern part of Democratic Republic of Congo. But as scholars have said, the major problem within that region is that greed supersedes grievance. Sudiri Yaruhanga, NTV, Kampala.